Hey guys, welcome back to Not Good Gamers. Today we have Echo beside me. That is because we are going to be reviewing a graphics card. So Nvidia has been so kind to send over the Galaxy GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Whoa. That's right. Damn. So yes. Have you owned any RTX graphics card before? Uh, to be honest, no. Personally, yes, y'all. Actually, I've heard a lot of reviews about this, mm -hmm. and one of its features is called the ray tracing. Okay. I'm not sure how good that is, but yeah. we'll be trying out and testing out today. All right. So uh, before we carry on, so what's so special about this anyway? You know, Nvidia RTX is the only brand that has RGB lighting option, and it has four different lighting zones which can be controlled individually. Uh -huh. Galaxy also offers 23 different lighting styles of lighting. Ah, alright, because everything is better with RGB. That's right. <laughs> it, it runs faster. Yeah. Joking, right? <laughs> alright, so to the viewers at home, let's just explain to them what RTX or ray tracing really is. Mm -hmm. So, ray tracing is a rendering technique for generating an image by tracing the path of light as pixel in an image plane and simulating the effects of its encounter with visual objects. The lights, shadows and reflection are close to what you see from your eye compared to the GTX graphics card. Alright, so in layman terms, basically what it does is just it just enhances the lights, the shadows and the reflections in the game, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah, right. So everything just becomes more crisp and, and sharper and more realistic, that's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go and start up this bad boy. Yeah, let's go. Alright then, before we uh, move on, mm -hmm. I've got to add one more thing is that you can easily overclock this graphics card using the software that's provided. Ah, Alright, let's go, let's go. So how do we do it and what is overclocking? So overclocking is essentially just boosting the graphical performance of the card, of the speed. Alright, so just making it work faster. Uh, yeah. So, so how do you actually overclock it? So it's very simple, you just have to install this software called an Extreme Tuner mm -hmm. and download it and with a single click and you just overclock ah. the GPU. That uh, simple. That simple? That simple. Alright then, so let's just get going, okay? Yeah, Since go. everything's pretty simple, let's go. So how much does it cost actually? Uh, I think this, this costs about $700, $800. Singapore dollars. Singapore dollars. Alright, we got the Galax here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, triple fan. Oh, this, this is really huge. Oh, wow. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It oh. is pretty heavy. Wow, yeah. very nice. Oh, Big then. box. Check this out. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. So it's like, this there's is, a this galaxy. Is, wow, this is really cool. It's actually pretty heavy. Yeah. Whoa. Pretty heavy. I, I like the decal of the galaxy at the back. Yeah, me too. Alright, so let's uh, install this bad boy in and uh, we'll show about overclocking and let's play some games. Let's go. Alright, so um, as we're putting it in, we realize that it fits perfectly just nice. Okay, it's in. Jeez, McNuggets. Look at that space, dude. I, I think it would be cool when the RGB lights light up. Oh, yes, that, that that's, one. Yeah, that's that's cool, cool, that's cool. Then let's put up the computer. Let's okay. Uh, ooh, this, oh, this, oh, actually, it's, it's, it's more dope. Oh, the water, oh. yeah. Right, so uh, Echo is going to show us how to uh, overclock. Mm -hmm. okay, it's a very simple. So we have installed all the applications. So right now, Stream mm -hmm. Tuner. You see this button right here? One click OC. Okay. Just click on that and click Apply. Apply. And done. You just overclock your GPU. That simple. That's all. Yeah. It automatically overclocks it for you. But you're also allowed to like change manually, Yeah. All right. All right. So let's just jump into a game first, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. I think just mix up. Yeah. Okay. Everything is just gonna mix up. Uh huh. Unlimited frame rates depending on the computer. High, high, high. High. Ray tracing enabled. Yeah. Everything yeah. is high. Yeah. And we still look at our VRAM usage. We still have a lot of space. Yeah, like what? Three gigs left? No. Yeah, three gigs left. We have three wow. gigs worth left. Yeah. We can play like two games simultaneously. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Okay, game has started. Right now, the FPS is running at about what? 80? 70 to 80 FPS? Uh, pretty smooth. What do you guys think about the ideal FPS for gaming? Hmm? I think about um, 120 is the best. 120? Ooh. But you're not getting 120 right here. Because everything is on high. Right. But it's pretty clear, you know? Oh, nice one then, wow then. And look at the details in this. like. Mm. Let's let's just take a moment to see. I mean, it, it looks it looks like a real block over here. So wait, this is with RTX on, right? Uh huh. Just now the gameplay was with RTX uh, on. Let's try. Let's it. let's see whether it really makes a big difference. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. 
Mm, nothing too crazy. Let's see. Nice, nice, nice. Oh wow. I mean, it's not much of a difference for me to like to really affect me. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, I don't see any. I don't see much. Ow. All right, so that's all for modern warfare. Um, our FPS jumped up by a bit, just a, just a little bit, bit, yeah. From 70, 80 to like 90 ish. 80, yeah, 80, 80 90. 90. Yep. Yeah. It's not. It's not too crazy. Mm -hmm. Let's try another game. Let's try another game. Let's try another game. Yes. All right, so we are on Fortnite. Let's go to the settings. So at home, mm -hmm. when I play, right, on average, max, mm -hmm. it's about. 80 to 90 FPS and I'm playing it on like high already. What what wait, what graphics card are you using? The 1660. Ah. Nvidia 1660. Ah, the 1K PC build. Right, right, that's right. Alright, so um let's just auto set this and everything will probably be at epic. I'm guessing Ooh. everything's at epic, right? Um but we want more FPS. Uh-huh. So you can see here like 60 FPS, so maybe we'll bring it down to uh high. high. We'll bring it up to high, yep. High. And we we'll bring it at unlimited. So is RTX really affected in here? Uh, I don't think there's ray tracing in here. In Fortnite, the game doesn't support that. Only certain amounts of game are uh, ray tracing supported. So for example, like Modern Warfare or mm -hmm. uh, Battlefield 5. I mean, you can just Google this. Like supported uh, uh, games that has that that support ray tracing. Ah, okay. There, there'll be a ton of this, but it's not a lot. Right, so my game's running at um. 150? Well, 200 FPS. 200, 230. Ooh. To about 180, 180 to 230. I mean, that's definitely 100 more FPS than what I did last time. What I have at home. Let's just jump straight into the game. I'll probably die very fast. Uh, yeah. But you're pretty good at this game. I'm not, dude. I'm not good at this game. I'm average. I mean, you're better than like everyone in the office. No? To be fair, I am the no? best Fortnite player in the office. So once again, this game, Fortnite doesn't support ray tracing, so yeah. But, I mean, it still looks pretty clear. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see people, I see, I, I see people. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, buddy man. I see, I see someone. This this graphic will, will turn me into a pro Fortnite player. Is it? Uh, let's, yes. Let's, let's let's try. It. This this. Let's prove it. Oh. Oh damn. Yeah, FPS does not make you a better player. The FPS doesn't matter. Yeah, everywhere doesn't matter. It's still a second player with high you, FPS. You, you know? gotta have skills. But you know, honestly, to be fair, it did feel. Different. Really? It did. How? Like smooth? Like it's smoother. Um, I mean, I'm you not. See in, everything. I, I, like, I'm not in my comfortable position. But you know, like, but you know, I can, I can still, <laughs> I, I can still see it's um, slightly more accessible in a way for me to, like, so-called process the game. And I, I don't know how to really explain, but it does feel better on the eyes. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Before I forget, Nvidia also sent us this RTX 2080 Ti. <laughs> Hall of Fame edition. Yeah. If you think this is good, this is like oh wait, how, how should I explain? Godlike. Basically, this is the best graphics card you can get in the market. Yes, that is if your wallet can support you. This cost about one thousand nine hundred dollars. And honestly, uh, there were reports shown that this is almost as good as a uh, twenty eighty. Yeah. Yeah, but, but sadly, we won't be reviewing this because we have a slight problem. Mm -hmm. Just take a look at this graphics card. It's so big. Bruh! Oh, there's even a display. Wow, wow. there's even a display. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Can we actually fit it? Yeah, <laughs> I don't... I, wait, I think we can. We can? Oh, yeah. I think we can. We just have to remove the fans yeah. and play it somewhere else. Yeah, it's actually quite heavy. But, it's, yeah. but you know what, guys? Maybe we'll save this for another day. Maybe when we build an all-white PC this dope. time. You know? A 6K, 5K PC build. Uh, mm. White edition. Cool. Get the money first, then we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> Get the money first, then we'll talk. All right, all right. All right. So besides the difference in price, like almost a one k difference in price, what else is like really outstanding? You know, outstanding. does 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 this have everything that this have, and does this have everything that this has? Uh, so basically, the twenty eighty Ti has everything that the twenty seventy Super has, okay. but the twenty eighty. Obviously, with the price difference, it performs better. Mm -hmm. But at how much does it perform? That's the question. Thirty percent, forty percent more? I, 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 I'm not sure. I'm just like, it's just a rough estimate. So you're paying a thousand dollar just to have thirty percent. Yeah, 
increase performance, like performance. Increase the performance. Is it worth? I mean, if you have the money, if you have the budget, so. Yeah, I mean, if why you not? have the money, why not, right? Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, it does look nice. It does look dope, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And like, you don't have to worry about low FPS ever yeah, again. Yeah, you don't have. Yeah, I mean, you can use this graphics card to play any game. FPS would be about, what, 200 and above? Uh, I mean, like, at least a minimum of 150. A minimum. Minimum of 150. Minimum. So I might just bring this one home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright guys, so once again, thank you so much to NVIDIA for sending over the Galaxy G Force RTX 2070 Super. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be gaming from, with this from now on. And uh, we're going to put this bad boy in a corner somewhere until we can actually build the all-white PC. Alright? Alright guys, so comment down below. What are your thoughts on the graphic cards that we have presented to you today? And is it worth spending that amount of money to get that amount of quality in a game? And does it really really affect your gameplay? Does it really make you a better player? And uh, yeah, feel free to let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Hope you learned a few things today. I, I did. Then you know what? Personally, I think I'll buy that. You'll buy this? Yeah, I'll, I'll say about $800 to buy that. I think it, it, is, it is worth the money. Just look, just look at this. True. Just, just look at it. Right? And we still have a lot of time to play along with the RGB lighting. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh yeah, there's, just now we like, we tinker around and there's so many RGB settings. Yeah, there's so many RGB it's settings. Alright, so once again, thank you so much to NVIDIA. Remember to mm -hmm. like this video, comment down below, and subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.